I can sum up my life in one breath. Work, work, au bon pain, work. The 34-year-old guy with no money and no place to live because he's single, he's a catch. But a 34-year-old woman with a job and a great home because she's single is considered tragic. I, on the other hand, am on strike. I've made the conscious decision not to have sex until conditions improve. And how many people will be affected by this strike? Um, so far, just the one. Steve! Go! How many great loves have you had? Zero. Really? What about Steve? Steve's a friend, not a core shaker. But I am seeing a whole bunch of unspecial guys. That's one of the requirements to date me. Do any of you have a completely unremarkable friend or maybe a house plant I could go to dinner with on Saturday night? I'm out of here. Give me a call when you're ready to talk about something besides men for a change. I bet being a drag king would be fun. Oh, please. I have enough trouble figuring out how to be a woman in a man's world without trying to be a woman pretending to be a man in a man's world. Halfway through her three delicacy delight, a delicacy got stuck. I just choked. I just almost died and you're not... Sweetie, you all right? I'm all alone, Carrie. The first people on my call in case of emergency list are my parents. I'm pregnant. That isn't fair. Sure, take a breath. How could you do this to me? To you? Oh my God, there he is. And just like that, life comes in and things begin to change. <sighs> I can't believe I have to go and pretend to be a lawyer now. It's OK, Brady. Oh, no. oh. Mommy's just got to go to work. Right. Along with her coffee, feeling guilty had become a part of Miranda's daily routine. This isn't working. I can't keep working like this. I'm going to have to cut way back to 50 hours a week. Miranda was there to put Brady to bed, but there would still be times when she wouldn't be around. So Miranda found a way to be around. Yeah. I can't believe you're even dressing up. The only two choices for women, witch and sexy kitten. Oh, you just said a mouthful there, sister.